Bricks gripped his plasma rifle tightly as the crew approached the towering facade of the Bank of Zartu. His senses were on high alert. This was the score they'd been planning for months. Every detail was meticulously prepared. But still, doubt gnawed at him as he glanced over at the two humans on the team. Hank and Lexi looked relaxed, almost nonchalant. Bricks knew humans had a reputation for being fierce warriors, but these two seemed oddly calm given the danger ahead. Their faces betrayed no anxiety, their posture loose and casual. You two ready for this? Bricks asked. Hank gave a wry smile. Born ready, Lexi chuckled. Let's do this already. My trigger finger's getting itchy. Bricks nodded and signaled the crew. His second in command, a hulking Acton named Clax, activated a scrambler to blind the bank's sensors. Bricks applied an oscillator key to open a side entrance without triggering alarms. So far, so good. The interior vaults were protected by laser tripwires and pressure-sensitive floors. Bricks's tech expert, a cerebral Zurian named Serath, hacked into the security system to deactivate these defenses. As the lasers winked out, the team swept into the central vault. There it was, row upon row of safe deposit boxes, filled with credits, jewels, data cubes, a lifetime's worth of plunder. Bricks set the crew to placing explosives around the vault's reinforced walls. Once blown, they could empty as many boxes as their packs would allow. Success was so close Bricks could taste it. But suddenly, the screech of alarms shattered the silence. Red emergency lights flashed ominously as steel doors sealed the vault. Bricks's gut dropped. They triggered a secondary security system. Heavy footfalls signaled the approach of the bank's mech droid defenses. These bipedal security robots were equipped with blasters, claws, and armor strong enough to withstand the crew's weapons. Abort mission, Bricks yelled. Sarath, can you get the doors open? But the Zurian just shook his head, fingers flying over a hollow pad as he desperately tried to hack the new system. It was state-of-the-art, far beyond their countermeasures. The first mech droid stomped into view, raising its blaster arms toward them. Bricks and his crew dove for cover behind the safe deposit boxes, returning fire. But their plasma pulses simply bounced off the robot's hardened exterior. Out of options, Bricks prepared to call for a full retreat. But then he saw Hank pull something from his belt, a small metal sphere. The human popped up from cover and hurled the object at the mech droid with uncanny accuracy. The device latched onto the robot's chassis. Before Bricks could wonder what it was, the sphere detonated with a thunderous boom. The mech droid disintegrated in a fireball, shattered armor plating flying in all directions. Hank flashed a fierce grin. Humans one, robots zero. Lexi rolled up next, drawing her sidearm. As another droid rounded the corner, she leapt onto its back with astonishing agility. Straddling its shoulders, she jammed her gun directly into a crack in the armor plating and fired, again and again, until the droid collapsed in a heap. That's two down, she laughed. Bricks could only stare as the two humans made short work of the remaining mech droids. Their movements were precise and coordinated, weaving between energy blasts before counterattacking with devastating strikes at the robot's weak points. They acted not with desperation, but tactical ruthlessness. Within minutes, the vault was clear. Hank and Lexi exchanged high fives amidst the smoldering wreckage of their robotic foes. All right, let's grab what we can carry and blaze a trail, Hank said. Still stunned, Bricks numbly followed the humans as they retreated back the way they'd come. Only when they were blocks away, their packs heavy with loot, did he find his voice again. How, how did you do that? He stammered. We were trapped, outgunned, but you two took down highly sophisticated security like it was nothing. Lexi smirked. Never underestimate humans in a tight spot. Our brains produce massive amounts of adrenaline, amping up strength, 
reflexes, and aggression when it's fight or flight. Hank slapped Bricks on the back. We may look puny, but humans can be dangerously resourceful when the chips are down. Remember that next time before you write us off. Bricks nodded wordlessly. Once again, the humans had proven their specialty, turning desperation into triumph with their bizarre cocktail of chemistry, instinct, and raw nerve. They were unpredictable, unorthodox, and unstoppable. This was a valuable lesson in the human capacity to adapt when their backs were against the wall. Bricks had much to learn about their strange proclivity for daring, improvisation, and courage in the face of terrible odds. Underestimating humans was clearly a mistake, one he wouldn't repeat. Bricks sank into a chair aboard the ship, shaking his head in disbelief. The daring bank heist was over, and they'd made it back with sacks of valuables despite the near-disastrous twist. He kept replaying the image of Hank and Lexi battling the security droids. The two humans had moved with such precision, turning the tables on supposedly superior robotic technology designed to stop intruders like them. Now, Bricks watched as Lexi laughed and joked with the crew, apparently unaffected by their brush with danger. She seemed energized, not shaken by the experience. Bricks approached her. Lexi, aren't you frightened thinking about what happened back there? We barely escaped capture or death from those droids. She flashed a reckless smile. Are you kidding? That was a total adrenaline rush. My heart's still pumping. I don't understand, Bricks said, shaking his head. Most beings value stability and predictability. Risking your life in a heist seems absurdly dangerous. Lexi shrugged. Maybe we're adrenaline junkies or just crazy, but humans evolved as persistence hunters on a harsh planet. We're hardwired to crave excitement and challenge ourselves against tough odds. Nearby, Hank nodded. Our brains release neurotransmitters during combat, the hunt, or other tense situations that heighten senses, dull pain, and give feelings of euphoria. It's the ultimate natural high. Bricks struggled to grasp this. Other species saw humanity's attraction to risk as irrational, but perhaps it was simply an expression of their hardwired instincts and evolutionary drives. Lexi continued explaining, We know it seems weird to you aliens, but life evolved very differently on Earth compared to more stable worlds. Constant danger and competition bred humans to be aggressive and adventurous. Yeah, we're naturally drawn to tests of skill and bravery, Hank added. Our ancient ancestors proved themselves through hunting, exploring, and warring. We can't override those primal urges easily. Bricks processed this perspective. He had worked with humans before, but much of their culture still mystified him. They defied galactic norms in so many ways. Still, you handled those droids with finesse and precision that seemed impossible, Bricks said. It was more than just wild aggression. Hank nodded. We've trained extensively in martial arts and combat tactics. That's amplified by our intense focus and recklessness in the heat of battle. So in high-pressure situations, human skills and instincts combine in extraordinary ways, Bricks mused. Your species exhibits feats we can't explain, like hysterical strength lifting vehicles to rescue loved ones. Lexi smiled. We're full of surprises, so think twice next time before underestimating us. Bricks returned the smile. Believe me, after today's rescue, I will never make that mistake again. He looked around at his exhausted crew. Only the two humans seemed invigorated. Once again, Hank and Lexi had proven that they play by different rules than the rest of the galaxy. While other species valued order and logic, humans embraced chaos and trusted their gut instincts. This gave them an edge when things went wrong. Their creative improvisation and surge of primal determination could overcome seemingly impossible obstacles. Bricks realized he still had much to learn about his human crewmates. But clearly their passion, 
physicality and daring made them indispensable assets. They brought an intangible energy and unpredictability that was often the difference between success and failure, as might be impulsive risk-takers, yet they had saved the entire team. Bricks knew he would always want them on his side when lives were on the line and the odds seemed insurmountable. Because they had the mysterious ability to find a path to victory where none existed. After their close call, Bricks decided to learn more about the unusual nature of humans. When they docked at the next space station, he ventured to a rowdy interspecies bar known for its exotic drinking contest and boisterous crowds. Sure enough, Raucous laughter drew Brix's attention to a group of humans challenging hulking aliens to arm wrestling matches. To Brix's shock, the humans won match after match, eventually defeating every challenger despite their relatively petite builds. How can those humans possess such strength? Brix asked the bartender, a wrinkled Talujan. Some of those aliens are twice their mass. The bartender shrugged. Humans are incredibly dense beings. Pound for pound, their muscles and skeletons are far stronger than most species. Bricks watched pensively as the group moved on to an intoxicant drinking competition. The mood grew even more rambunctious as aliens began stumbling around, dizzyingly inebriated, while the humans kept slamming back more goblets. Now they're deliberately imbibing toxins for enjoyment, Bricks said. That seems unwise. Again, the bartender shrugged. Human livers metabolize ethanol and other intoxicants uniquely. What incapacitates us merely gives them pleasure. Bricks frowned as he recalled Hank's words about humans releasing feel-good neurotransmitters during combat and danger. Now it seemed they had a biological proclivity for recreationally ingesting poisons too. As Bricks pondered, a massive, hairy Rulin staggered up to the arm wrestling humans, bellowing challenges. Though the barrel-chested alien towered over them, the smallest human, a lean female, stepped forward boldly. The crowd roared as she grasped the Rulin's meaty hand. For a moment, the two strained against each other, muscles quivering. Then, shockingly, the woman slammed the Rulan's arm down in a stunning show of power. The Rulan gaped at her in disbelief as the spectators went berserk. Brix's mind reeled. How could this diminutive female possess such incredible strength and stamina? As with the security droids, the humans were grossly outmatched on paper, yet drew on some profound inner reserve to prevail. Was it willpower? The stimulation of peril? Bricks wasn't sure, but once again, humanity showcased its bizarre ability to marshal hidden physical, mental, and emotional resources to overcome challenges no other species could. Bricks stayed to observe the bizarre scene a while longer before returning to the dock. Seeing the humans in their element highlighted key aspects of their nature. Their lust for competition and risk-taking was deeply ingrained and they could amplify their abilities in ways science still struggled to explain. Back on board the ship, Bricks pulled Hank aside to share what he had witnessed in the bar. The human laughed heartily when Bricks described the smaller female's arm wrestling victory. I guess we're not just scrappy, but stronger than we look, Hank chuckled. Never judge a human by our size alone. We don't play by the normal rules. Bricks nodded thoughtfully. I am learning that lesson well as I get to know your kind. You are full of surprises. Hank's smile widened. Keep hanging with us, my friend. We'll show you capabilities that defy logic or biology. It's just the human way. Bricks nodded. The humans were proving educational in unexpected ways, and he looked forward to unraveling more of their mysteries. When the crew gathered to plan their next heist, Bricks was surprised to see Lexi and Hank bring along a human woman he didn't recognize. She was younger than the other two, with bright purple hair and a nose ring. The excessive body modifications and eccentric clothing seemed to confirm the human affinity for rebellion and risk-taking that Bricks was coming to understand. 
This is Kim, Hank said by way of introduction. She's an expert hacker who can crack any digital system or network. Kim gave a casual nod, not looking up from a compact hollow tablet she was rapidly manipulating. I've implanted backdoors and secret access points across the Quadrant's major security frameworks. No system is safe from me. Bricks looked at the small human skeptically. Your brain can intuitively navigate alien digital architectures and cryptography? Kim laughed derisively. These code monkeys rely on predictable logic and patterns. They can't keep me out of their systems. Bricks noted Kim's arrogance, but remembered not to underestimate humans. Perhaps she did possess some gift for conceptual thinking beyond her species' apparent limits. The target was a secret research facility supposedly housing cutting-edge cybernetics and AI technology. Slipping past the complex digital security grid would require skills no crew member currently possessed. As they approached the sprawling facility, Kim cracked her knuckles dramatically. All right, time to work my magic. She pulled out an interface unit, attaching neural leads to her temples. Bricks watched over Kim's shoulder as she dove into the system. It was like observing an artist at work. She felt her way intuitively through dense walls of code, bypassing traps and tricks. Within minutes, Kim had disabled perimeter drones, cameras, and motion sensors. All righty, tech security is down, she announced. Let's hit the vaults. Bricks realized his mouth was agape. Kim's mastery had been astonishing. He tried to wrap his brain around how a human could crack technology so advanced it beggared galactic experts. As they swept into the research labs, Bricks pulled Lexi aside. How does she do it? That system was engineered by the greatest Xerac minds. Lexi smiled. Humans excel at pattern recognition, but we also make creative leaps rather than just logical steps. Our brains see solutions where advanced algorithms hit dead ends. So Kim's edge wasn't raw processing power, but an ability to make unexpected cognitive connections. Bricks pondered this as they swept the facility for data and tech. Her skills had allowed them to walk right in. The impossibility of it left him reeling. Back aboard the ship, Brick sat down with Kim, hoping to understand her gift better. Up close, he could see the toll it took on her. Bloodshot eyes, trembling hands, agitation. Are you all right? Bricks asked. That hacking seems to exhaust you. Kim waved dismissively. It's draining but I'm wired to power through. Humans ignore pain, hunger, fatigue when adrenaline is pumping. Bricks nodded, recalling Hank and Lexi's seemingly superhuman stamina and strength fueled by adrenaline and instinct. Kim too was able to transcend limits that would hobble other species. Kim gave a weary smile. Our brains are chaotic jungles making weird connections. Sometimes it's madness, sometimes it's genius, but it lets me solve problems in ways no AI can. Bricks was struck by Kim's nonchalant resilience and her casual description of the human mind as untamed wilderness. Perhaps there was method in the human madness. Their disregard for rules and overload of sensory stimuli yielded creativity. Once again, Bricks marveled at the frenetic, unruly nature of humans that drove them to impossible feats. They defied logic and expectations, but therein lay their power. It seemed embracing the chaos rather than resisting it unlocked their potential in extraordinary ways. As Bricks grew more acquainted with Hank, Lexi and now Kim, he gained a deepening appreciation for humanity's unusual talents. Their seeming deficits as a species, impulsiveness, aggression, risk-taking, were flipped into strengths when pressed into action. Physiologically, they exhibited bursts of power and stamina that defied science. Mentally, their disregard for rules fueled improvisational creativity, and some intangible spirit kept them battling against impossible odds when a logical being would accept defeat. 
After their latest close call evading capture, Bricks decided to articulate these reflections to the crew. As they sat for their regular post-mission meal, he stood up to address them. My friends, over these past adventures I've come to admire humans for attributes rare in the galaxy, Bricks said. You excel in situations where others falter by leaning into your instincts and nature. Hank, Lexi, and Kim exchanged surprised glances as Bricks continued. Logic-driven species value order, predictability, and caution, but we've seen humanity thrive on spontaneity, risk, and even chaos. Bricks nodded at Lexi. In the bank heist, you moved with precision and power no species should possess. Your body and reflexes defied limits. He turned to Hank. In the bar brawl, you displayed raw strength surpassing beings twice your mass. Looking at Kim, he said, and you saw solutions in alien code that the designers themselves missed. Bricks raised his glass. You have shown me that what we may see as human deficits are actually your strengths in times of adversity. You should embrace the very things that make you unique. The human smiled and cheered Bricks's words. He continued, the galaxy needs many kinds of beings with diverse strengths and perspectives. I am honored to serve beside species as extraordinary as humans. The crew applauded Bricks's toast struck by his newfound respect for qualities they had often been made to feel self-conscious about before. Later, Bricks reflected on how deeply his attitudes had shifted. He once dismissed humans as primitive and reckless. Now, he saw how their passionate, unruly nature enabled their brilliance as warriors, strategists, and creatives. Where others hesitated, humans plunged ahead on instinct and guts, this let them seize opportunities and try solutions no one else envisioned. Their courage and resilience were anchors that empowered diverse talents to emerge under fire. Bricks smiled, realizing how much he himself had to learn from this unorthodox species. By following his human crewmate's example, perhaps he could tap into reserves of determination and ingenuity he never knew he possessed. S had much to teach the galaxy, if one could appreciate the method in their madness. Bricks was profoundly grateful for the lessons in daring, improvisation, and trusting oneself that his friends had imparted. Thanks to them, he would never look at humanity or himself the same way again. 